Hello, we're back to do another haul video. Mm -hmm. We've been sporadic at best lately. We're horrible. We're horrible. But first, real quick before we get started, I did want to let you guys know that Mark II of Not Your Dad CPA is doing a live workshop on April 9th called Reseller Rescue. And if you are all of a sudden freaking out and panicking about doing your taxes, it's basically going to help you figure out how to quickly gather up your numbers for the last year so you can get your taxes done quickly and well. So the link is down below if you guys want to check that out. It's only like $19. It's a live workshop on April 9th. What do you think uh, I think it's pretty good. I, I'm pretty sure we're going to do this. Uh, I will say it as bad as we are about our taxes. We talk about it all the time. We, we always do an extension. We wait till the last minute. Uh, it is what it is. We know yeah. what we're doing. But if you are somebody that wants to get everything done on time, which let's face it, we should, you should. Um, Mark II is very, very easy to understand. And he makes the process very simple and easy to understand for the lay person. I am not a numbers person. That would be Teresa, AKA numbers geek. That is not us. Yeah. So, uh, if you are struggling or you're having a panic attack thinking you need to get this done, 19 bucks is a pretty yep. cheap. April to, 9th. Yeah. April 9th. 19 yep. bucks is pretty cheap to, uh, give yourself some peace of mind. The link is down below. Yep. Check it out. All right, so we've got uh, kind of a mixture of things that we picked up over the last couple of weeks. I think you did a couple of big buys. Mm -hmm. I did a big buy, plus we hit the bins. We hit some thrift stores. You got some cool stuff? What we did a whole lot of stuff. We did a whole lot of stuff. Our friend Alexis was here in town. Uh, she was here for like a whole 48 hours whirlwind. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it's 48 hours. I don't think her family can live with her without her any longer. So she flies in, flies yeah. out super quick. Um, so we did source every day that she was with us and it was fun. Yeah, I, I got some uh, good stuff at the bins this week. And, you know, I'm always kind of talking about how I need to go to the bins more. It is the best bang for my buck. I do find some really, really cool stuff there. And so when Alexis was here, I did... I did uh, make the announcement to myself, to the universe, to Alexis and Vicky, that this week I'm going to make it my goal to hit the bins every day except today. Today's Monday that we're filming this. So I'm going to hit the bins Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So four days in a row. Even if it's just for an hour, Gosh. hour and a half, you might join me. I, don't I know. might go one or two. Maybe. Yeah. So next week I'll probably have a video of some of that in the haul from it and stuff like that with Vicky, you know, whatever she picks up. But why don't you go ahead? What do you got? All right. So I'm going to get started. Most of this stuff, I think I've got a couple things in here that uh, came from the bins last week with Alexis, but most of this came from a very large buy I made from our friends, Joe and Robin in Florida. I paid uh, $2 an item and then the shipping was, so it ended up being like $4 an item because the shipping's quite pricey from Florida to Nevada. Mm -hmm. uh, so it worked out well for both of us. I have quite a lot of items, but I'm going to kind of keep quite it down. I'm going to show you two at a time just because these kind of go together, even if they don't go together. So <clears throat> this is uh, vintage Lane Bryant from the 70s. So this is the tag right there, Six, late 60s, early 70s. This is a terry cloth, like caftan slash beach cover up thing. Uh, it feels like a big old towel with some pockets in the front and a full zipper. And then it's got these little pom pom poms on the bottom. I mean, first of all, Lane Bryant has been around since uh, I think the 50s, maybe even a little bit earlier. Someone will fact check me on I that. I sure. know that. Uh, people don't always think about that, but it's been a plus size garment company for that long. So plus size vintage clothing does exist. It is just harder to find because the reality is, is that we were a smaller population then, physically speaking. And um, it's just a little bit harder to find. And when you do find it, uh, it sells very quickly. So if you can find good vintage items in bigger sizes, because the majority of America is a little bigger, you're going to sell it faster and it's in high demand. So how much are you selling that for? I am going to list this for probably 150. I have a feeling it'll sell somewhere around the hundred, hundred and twenty-five dollar range, but it'll probably sell on Etsy, and I'm okay with that. Nice. It's one of my favorite pieces. I'm going to show the other piece that kind of goes with it. I have a feeling this woman, this whole closet that I that we acquired came from a storage uh, storage locker. And it hadn't been touched in like 30 years. Now, um, the woman, most of her clothing was plus size, except for the older clothing that was like from the 50s. So it's like, I feel like she gained some weight over the years, like some of us do. It happens. It happens. And then I feel like, I'm telling you, I've got a whole story in my head, that she bought this for her husband to wear on a vacation with her wearing that other thing. Because same era, late 60s, early 70s, this is by a company called Janssen, which was mostly a swimwear and sportswear company. So you can see this, oh, sorry, the tag's flipped up. There's the tag there. 
The other thing is that it actually is dead stock. I'm telling you, she bought this for her husband to wear with her on a cruise or on a vacation, and he went, not wearing that. So are we wearing this on our cruise? No. What? <laughs> so this is just like, this would be called a cabana shirt, a cabana top. So it's got the pockets down below. This is also terry cloth, and it's in a green color that matches the green in that. So it's like kind of like a forest, I don't know, army green, moss green. Oh. Anyway, uh, these actually sell really well, too. So this is really big for that... Um, rockabilly type look or that tiki type look so those are keywords that you're going to want to use and i'll probably list this around the same price maybe 150 125 That's crazy all right i'm going to start with something really simple if you might think here have hangers on because today i'm going to be taking pictures and these are ready to go this is not vintage but i wanted to uh you know when you're when you're sourcing and you're getting stuff super super cheap um one of the things that has been doing really well for me is graphic t-shirts that have been cut off into uh, crop tops. Crop tops are really big right now. Um, and like I've had stuff where they've had stains down below that just didn't look good. And I'm like, man, I'm just going to cut them into a crop top and then it sells. Um, so I grabbed this. It's a shining t-shirt. I mean, it, it's, cut, I wouldn't wear that. it's cut off. So it's like, it, I maybe paid 60 cents for it, 70 cents for it. Um, but it's the shining, but it's cut short. You can see it's got the printed tag. So, you know, it's not vintage at all. And then the back, it's got the creepy twins uh on the back Play of it with us, Johnny. <laughs> but you know since i've been kind of changing uh my selling model i'm doing you know more volume and I'm bringing my prices down but i am sourcing stuff so cheap this stuff is flipping for me pretty quickly you know i can make like 20 bucks 25 bucks um and especially the crop top stuff uh does really well i sell it on grail mercari ebay so and you they're know, super easy to list yeah for sure so don't pass this kind of stuff up thinking like oh it's been cut off and it's not vintage there's no way anybody's gonna want it they're gonna want it if it's, it's a good subject matter yeah it's not gonna go for a bazillion dollars but i mean if you have your process down really well and you can get stuff photographed and done quickly i mean even making 10 15 bucks is worth it as long as you have it mixed in with some higher price items i wouldn't wear a crop top personally but i would wear that shirt all right, let's see. Uh, this was an actual, this was a bins find. And I think if you follow us, you know that I love me a good alpaca story, right? So this is an alpaca poncho, uh, vintage. There's no tags. Actually, this is inside out, sorry. How embarrassing. Uh, so you can see this is the outside of it and it's got the fringe. I mean, it's not super old, uh, but I would say that this is probably at least like 70s to 80s. Um, that's pretty old. You realize it's 2024 now, all right. right? I'm old. All right. I'm pretty old. It's not super old. It's only like 40 years old. <sighs> Shut up. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's a really cool, like boho look, uh, anything alpaca really sells. And again, this will be something I'll probably list around. I don't know, probably listed around a hundred, but expect around 75 if, unless, unless it sells full price, but you know, very nice. Very nice. All right, next up I have, uh, man, I just keep picking up the Western wear, but let me tell you, Western wear is doing really well. It's hot. I tried to do some uh, sourcing on eBay and I was looking for like, you know, lots of Western shirts. The stuff's going, even the lots it's going, it's like out of my price range, man. Uh, this is Express Rider. It's just kind of like a middle level, mid-level um, vintage uh, like Western plain, wear. Western planes wear and stuff yeah like that. but it's made in the usa and this one has a great pattern on it it's just a really nice southwestern pattern it's a little faded uh vicky's gonna sit here and look for a, like the tiniest spot on it and tell me how flawed no, it no, is no. I'm, what it's i was gonna so say rigid. is that it's a thick it's yeah. a thicker thing it's like it's those, kind of a canvas it's cotton. like the brush poppers if you yeah similar um but anyway it's got a great pattern on it and it's a good size it's like uh well it's a medium so it's not that great of a size but that's a solid medium though. Still, I can easily get 40 to 50 for this. And uh, this was actually one that um, Jesse at, uh, from yesterday's fits at the bins. What I love is he goes to the bins every morning. He's usually, usually only there for maybe an hour or so, but I can always like watch whatever he's grabbing. And if there's something I like, I can get it, I can get it from, I mean, sometimes he just gives it to me. A lot of times we trade stuff and sometimes, you know, if it's just something I want to buy from him, he'll throw it to me for five, 10 bucks. Um, and so I think I got this, I gave him like five bucks for this, but he did give me some really cool stuff earlier. So I'm like, yeah, maybe I paid a dollar for it. Really? I mean, I give him stuff too when we're there. Like, and Katie got mad at me the other day cause I gave him something. She gave him a vintage t-shirt. Given to her. Yes. She's like, you don't do racing tea. And I'm like, I do too now. I do everything. And then Jesse was like, who is this? She's like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like it matters. I'm selling it. Anyway, I knew that that's the kind of stuff that he sells more than her. So this is, this is actually talking about what we're going to wear on our reseller relaxation cruise. 
one of the nights is a 70s theme. If you've been on a cruise, there's theme nights on the cruise. And yeah. y'all know I love a theme, right? I'm going to dress up for just about any damn thing. I'm going to have an, one suitcase that's just going to have the dress up outfits for the four nights we're there. Well, and, and so Vicky actually ordered some stuff online. She got me um, some cool sunglasses, like a fake, like a uh, porno mustache. Porn stash. And uh, like a dollar sign. Uh, just like a big, con big chunky, chunky gold chain. Gold chain. Um, an afro and she's like you know we got to figure out something from you know our inventories that you can wear i'm sure we have something and then you pulled this out of one of the boxes look at this you guys one. so this is a women's shirt doesn't matter uh women's shirt this is a big polyester i don't know what kind of cars are on this thing it's orange it's yellow it's polyester it has this big old spread collar yeah. um it's flipping hideous this is what Katie's going to wear for 70s night with her porn stash and fro. Like, you don't want to miss this. If now, you're going to be on this cruise, you need the list of super high because I'm going to be so mad if I don't get to wear it. She's so I'm going to list it for like, list it. well, I don't want to throw it out of my process in my order. So it'll be listed before we go, but I'm going to list it for like 300 bucks. It will okay. sell for 300 bucks. I'll be so mad because I want to wear that shirt so bad. It's fun. It is. All right, we had our local um, reseller meetup this last week. We did a bowling night, and our buddy Matt came, and he brought a box of stuff, which, Matt, if you're watching this, I still need to pay you. I told you to, like, send me your info so that I could pay you. Come on. Um, anyway, and so I'm at the bowling alley in the dark trying to look through the stack of T-shirts. With the flashlights. We're all, we yeah. all realize that uh, bowling at night is not made for us old people because we couldn't see crap the whole night. We kept trying to sign people in, yep. and that yeah, was funny. So I got a stack of, like I think, like nine, nine T-shirts, and I offer, offered him 40 bucks. Um, there were a few T-shirts in there that I really loved and a few that were just okay, but um, I think all together, like, it was a decent price to offer for what I'm charging now. But um, as you may know, I love me some Ocean Pacific. And it's funny, we had a whole discussion with Allie of, of Rally Roots when they were here because she's a lot, she's younger. She's like nine years younger than me. So she didn't grow up in the era where Ocean Pacific was cool. Mm -hmm. So she only associates that brand with, with like Walmart. Walmart. Um, and I'm like, no, the old stuff is cool, man. It's like White Stag. Yeah. So this is, um, yeah. So she wasn't even alive when this one, one was made. This is from 1985. And it's just, it's a nice vibrant yellow and it just says active wear for salt water. And you've got like a little surfer dude in the middle, single stitch, of course. Um, now, once upon a time, I would have priced this at 70 bucks and hope to get like 50 to 60. Now I would probably hope to get about 40, 35, 40, because I'm, I got to change my prices, man. I got to change it up. I got to get stuff moving and actually sell it and not have it sit in my inventory for the next five years. Exactly. So. We're changing with the times, people. Changing yeah. with the times. All right, so this came from the lot from Florida. Um, I love this. this I is, love that. This is a very, very 80s shirt dress. So it is this bright green. It's not neon, but it looks like it could be. It's a shirt dress with an elastic waist and the cuff sleeves, and it's just got this all-over newspaper print type thing on it. That is awesome. It's like an advertising print. It's very 80s. In fact, I love this so much. I may bring this on the cruise with me to wear um, I think it would be, look awesome with like a wide, shiny black belt. Yeah, it needs a belt. It needs a belt. Leather belt. Uh, I, it's really big, so I would have to belt it anyway if I wanted to wear, wear it. But I like how it's oversized. Anyway, it's got these like cool things on it. It's very like new wave. It looks like it's trying to save Versace in one spot. It's not. Uh, but it's got a big, wide skirt. I just really love this. And this is going to look so nice on the mannequin. Um, some you things you just know cruise. display really well. I love uh, it. So again, I'll price it again. I price my stuff high, but I run aggressive sales and send aggressive offers. I'm going to price it at probably $129.99. That's my, my jam. And then it'll probably sell for, I think I can get $75 out of it. Here's the thing. Right now, you are talking about plus size vintage. like, And it's not just average plus size vintage. It's like really, really cool pieces. Yeah, um, I think so I can get I think, closer to the prices that I want. Yeah. If you're looking at brand, and that doesn't have a brand name, by the way. And if you're looking at brand names, brand names is not are not what's going to sell it. Even Lane Bryant, vintage Lane Bryant, you may see it. It sells higher than it does the current Lane Bryant, but um, the older it gets, like 60s, 70s, and yeah. whatever. But it's not the name that sells it. All right, next up, this is another one from our buddy Matt. doesn't have a tag on it, but it is single stitch. And it's probably got, yeah, it's dated 1987. It's a far side t-shirt. that's a good one. I love the far side stuff. Um, it always sells pretty quickly for me. Uh, although now, again, I got to like bring my prices down. So I would hope to get like 40 to 50 bucks for this. Man, um, five years ago, that would have been a $100 shirt. I know. I was getting like 80, $80 $90 on Etsy a few years ago. 
Uh, but it's just not the same anymore. But I love this one. It says, Drive, George, Drive. This one's got a coat hanger. So just silly, goofy. Um, I don't know what that means. What is the picture of it? It's, but he's breaking in. Oh, he's breaking it's into the car. Okay, sorry. Anyway, so I really, I love the Far Side Tees. So I think this one and the Ocean Pacific one were kind of the two shirts that I really loved from that batch of shirts. And then I, I bought the other ones because I needed some good filler. So very cool shirt. So this one is also going to be a twofer because I have two and two different patterns. This is another uh, set from, this is Vintage Lane Bryant. I'm going to say it's definitely 70s, has a big old spread collar, and it's hilarious. So it's purple. They look like little kind of ducks, almost like um, Peruvian style ducks. It's purple with ducks. This is a, this is a short romper. It has shorts. It has so pockets cute. in the front. It's purple and orange. What decade is this from? 70s. It buttons up the front. It feels like dead stock. It yeah. is super crunchy and crispy. There's no tags. There is no signs of wear. I'm going to list it as new without tags. But what it has is it has not only the shorts, it has this big old button up skirt that goes over it. So if you want to wear it as like a, I don't know, not a dress. a dress, it has the skirt that goes over it that matches. Elastic waist, button up the front. I mean, come on. That's it's really the cutest cute. thing. So there's not just one. But there's two. This is the other one. This is black with yellow. And again, like I said, this kind of gives me a little bit of a, an Aztec vibe with, the, um, with what it has on it and the way the ducks look and then the kind of trim that's on it. I don't know. Uh, this one actually has a belt. The purple one doesn't have a belt. So that is the shorts romper. And then this is the Stupid skirt cute. that goes over it. And these sizes, by the way, are not just your average like size 16, 18, entry level plus size. These are pretty good. I would say most of these are like an 18 to a 20. Um, That's crazy. For which, is, which is really hard to find in, in, in fashionable clothing. Let me put it that way. You can always find plus size clothing, but to find plus size clothing in it's a actually, vintage, actual fashionable that people mm -hmm. want to wear today is a lot harder to find. Yeah. So those I'm going to list... I've seen nothing like those. I'm probably going to list them around the $150 range and accept offers, obviously. Yeah. All right. So one of the things I like to do when I'm at the bins is I always uh, make a few loops around um, where the t-shirt bros are throwing their stuff back because they'll grab anything. They're pretty fast. They'll just grab up stuff and then they reject it. And I'm always finding good stuff that they throw out and they don't want to, they decide they don't want. And it's like good stuff. Um, so this, the tag is all worn and faded. Um, it's pretty small, but this is one of those awesome tuxedo t-shirts. It did have a stain on it. And I'm I was surprised Britt did not wear one of those to the prom. I know, year. right? Uh, it had like a, a yellow stain on it. I was able to actually get it out. And uh, so it's in great condition. It's just real tiny, uh, but it's freaking cute. It's single stitch. Um, I mean, I would say probably this is like early 80s uh, based on the construction of the collar and then the single stitching. Um, but there's really it's freaking cute. cute. Um, uh, probably, I think I already listed this, um, but I would hope to get like, you know, 40 bucks for it, 30 to 40 bucks. Again, I would have priced higher once upon a time, but times are a changing. Mm -hmm. All right. This is also one of my favorite pieces that came from Robin in, um, in Florida. Now this one, I'm going to look this tag up a little bit, but I haven't been able to find anything. It's kind of one of those generic looking tags. This tag is probably forties or fifties. Um, and this jacket is a that hand is stitch. Cool. It is felt. It is a heavy felt like chamois cloth or felt. Um, it looks like it's got like this little Mexican senorita and he looks like a bullfighter. It's all, uh, it's 3D art. So it's like all cut out of felt and embroidered. It's quite beautiful. Um, and that's the, that's the back. This is the front. I love the cacti and the agave plants. And... There are no buttons. So I'm probably gonna list this as men's. Um, I have a feeling this would sell better uh, in the male category. Um, just because vintage hipster, all that type of thing. This could be something I can see someone wearing on stage, a folk artist or something like that. I just love it, love it, love it so much. Uh, it's got the little man with the cactus in the front. It's got the little man sitting down with the sombrero over his face. Love and it. then the back says that, you know, she's got, um, the traditional garb and a skirt that spells out in Mexico. I just, I love this. I have no idea where I'm going to price it. It will be high. Yeah. Um, it's a really unique piece. It's very unique. And, and I love it so much. Um, I don't know who the end wearer is. Usually when I buy items, that's what I think of. When I buy vintage clothing, I envision an end 
wearer and I can picture it on somebody yeah. and stylized. Uh, this I'm not too sure. It's just so different. So I just love it. I hope you guys love it too. Yeah. Um, I got some cool sweatshirts. Uh, the, I think these are both from, uh, Robin. I also bought some stuff from Robin and Joe. They had like a bunch of t-shirts and so, you know, she was like, I got, you know, we did a video call. She's like, everything is $2 a piece. And so, um, I went ahead and accepted almost everything. There were definitely some pieces where I didn't accept them, um, just cause I knew it wasn't, I wasn't gonna be able to sell them, but I accepted a lot of stuff that I knew I was only going to make maybe 10, 15 bucks on. But then there were a few pieces um, that I knew I was going to make some real money on. Uh, and this isn't necessarily one, this, this one, I, I've done really well with the Wimbledon stuff. Um, again, times are changing. I would hope to like be able to get like 50 bucks for this. I don't know what year it's from, but it's definitely vintage. Uh, it's just, you know, the, the tennis pro tournament at Wimbledon, um, championships, and it's just like a nice, um, graphic sweatshirt. So, uh, but yeah, I paid two bucks for everything. I think I got 53 pieces, uh, two bucks a piece. And then it averaged out to about a dollar more per item for shipping. So I spent about $3 per piece. Um, so I'm willing to do all the work on the ones I'm only going to make 10 bucks on so I can make a little more on some of the other pieces. Same. So I had ordered about 175 to 200 pieces from Robin. Mm -hmm. So there are there are a bunch of things that are very, um, you know, bread and butter mediocre that I'll sell for like 30, which means I have between my lister, my cross lister and the cost of the goods, I already have like seven to eight dollars mm -hmm. in it. And then your, you know, your bottom line. So I'll make 15 to 20 bucks on the item itself. Uh, but then there are some really good ones, like I just showed, yeah. which are, which make the, the mediocre slugging through worthwhile. So this is another item. I did get this from Robin as well. This is a, a nice plus size, uh, vintage seventies disco spread collar. You can see this, this is like shiny nice. Lurex. It's, I guess that's what they call this, like a Lurex fabric. It's just a button up shirt, but it ha it's like rainbow. It's like purple and teal and gold. Um, this might be what I wear for the 70s show, 70s thing. I'm not sure. It's still got an old dry cleaning tag on it. Look at that's that. That's awesome. Uh, and this is made by Barry Ashley. Good old Barry Ashley. Um, anyway, this is probably like a 50, $60 shirt. All right. I think Very it's just cool. cool. Very cool. All right, this is uh, one of the pieces that I'll definitely make a little bit more on. Now, the, she had some really cool vintage that came from this guy's, I don't know if it was a storage unit or what, um, and a lot of it had stains on it. It had like, these kind of reddish stains on it that could have either been blood or like rust, or I don't know if he like worked on cars or what the deal was. I think it came from the same unit as mine because a lot of my stuff had stains too. Yeah. So I had to treat, I have, um, this stuff called iron off, I think is what it's called. Uh, thanks to Brit. He suggested it, um, it helps to get rust out and stuff like that. The problem with getting stains out is if you don't know what did it, it's, it can be really difficult to figure out how to get it out. Yeah. But by the looks of it, I figured like, I'm going to try this iron off. And it actually got all the stains out of this one. It didn't work on everything um, that, I, that I treated with it, but it did work on this. Adidas, this is a really cool Adidas all over print, uh, tennis sweatshirt, Lipton International Players Championships. That's cool. This is like an 80s, 90s Adidas made in the USA um, sweatshirt. And it's just really nice. Uh, there aren't a lot of comps out there. Um, there's one that like looks the same on the front, but something different on the back that somebody sold for like $24. And I'm like, I don't understand what's wrong with people. Like, that's ridiculous. Not everybody knows how to research. Yeah, but uh, I did already list this for $100 and I hope to get 65 to 100. But man, a few years ago, especially during COVID, something like this would have sold for at least 150, 200 bucks. I was just bucks. gonna say two to $300, it's crazy. Yeah, but it's, a re just, it's just a really cool piece. And I was really excited when she showed it to me when we were doing the video call. And I was very happy when I was actually able to get those spots out. I still get really excited about the finds, even though they do not command the prices they used to. Yeah. I still love what I do. I me just need, I need to refine some of the fire for it. Well, um, and for me, it's like now that I've switched up my process, I'm going a little bit quicker. I act, it actually is exciting. And it's nice to be able to actually ship, like to have a weekday where I ship out 11 things, even if they're lower priced items, it makes you feel like you're actually accomplishing something. Even if in the past I could have sold three things to get that same amount of money. Yeah. So this actually, I only have two more to show, so you can probably double up on the next one if you'd like, or, or maybe not. Um, this I got at the bins uh, last week when Alexis was here with us. This is, ooh la la, ooh, la, la. this is like 80s Barbie core right here. <laughs> uh, 80s, you know, gold elegance Barbie or something like that. Uh, so it's this gold lame skirt. 
And then the top or the bodice of the dress is velvet and it has kind of like an off, slightly off the shoulder. And then it's, it's got uh, sequins around the neckline and then the three quarter sleeve. It's really cute. Uh, it's tiny, but it's not like an extra small. It's probably a regular small. Big full skirt underneath. This looks like the brand, uh, crap, Roberta. Sorry, it had just slipped my mind for a second. It is not handmade. There was a tag in it, but someone has uh, taken the tag out. So uh, it looks like the brand name Roberta, which was very popular in the 80s for, um, for prom dresses and mm -hmm. bridesmaids dresses. Anyway, like Katie said, a couple years ago, I probably could have gotten two, $300 for this. I'd be happy to get 100 for it now. And it's really cute. Yeah. All right, next up, this is actually something um, that one of the t-shirt bros found at the bins and he tossed it to Jesse. And when I saw it, I'm like, I want that. What do you want for it? And um, he looks it up and I don't think he really found anything. And then I had given him a few things earlier that day. And so he ended up just giving it to me. Um, so this is not vintage. And in fact, it's actually from 2023. Um, you can see this is a Six Flags hoodie, but you can see um, a lot of times on stuff, you'll see this S and then the, uh, two digits. So that's that actually means it was from 2023. So not old at all. This is Fright Fest, uh, which is their annual kind of horror thing they do at, at Six Flags. And it's got Magic Mountain down the sleeve. But what, the reason I, of course, perked up is because on the back, it's got this, the conjuring, um, on here and it just looks really cool. It's, you know, it says Fright Fest, Six Flags and the conjuring. Now what's interesting about this is it, I cannot find this anywhere. Like I use Google lens. I looked on eBay. I looked everywhere. Um, just, I cannot find this hoodie anywhere. Like apparently nobody bought it and tried to sell it online, uh, because it's literally nowhere. And so I did price it up. I put it up for like 150. Now I might, I'm not saying it's going to sell for that at all, but even um, with what we've been saying and kind of going over and over again about prices changing, uh, if something's really unique, I'm still going to at least start it off at a high price. Right. Overall, my regular stuff, I'm pricing a lot lower, but I'm still going to try on some of these pieces where I'm like, you know, there's a chance somebody out there is going to be really excited when they see this and they're going to want to grab it. There's lots of like kind of crappy conjuring hoodies out there. But um, none with this exact graphic. And I actually think this is a really nicely done graphic. And for being from 2023, it is not that really gross uh, fabric that a lot of no, sweatshirts nice, and hoodies are. It feels like a normal, nice, heavy regular weight. hoodie. So it's it's really nice. So I was excited about this. And again, got it at the bins, guys. Got it at the bins. All right. So this is my last piece for this haul. This was also a bins buy. I don't, I think this is the one, I think Alexis found this. Nope, I did. You didn't? It's funny because a lot of times I'll show stuff to Vicky and she'll be like, eh, whatever. And this, I grabbed it and I thought maybe there's a chance she'll like it. And I'm like, probably not. She's going to say it's stupid. So then I brought it over to her more as a joke. Like, hey, look what I found for you. <laughs> and she goes, I want that. And I'm like, oh, hey, hey, I knew that. <laughs> so I paid $2 for it, which is great because it's big. This is probably the ugliest kitschiest Arrible. kitschiest uh clown it is signed it's kim kim made this in 1978 i love it he's flipping cross-eyed it is a he it is painted it is uh it's on 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 uh painted on board and then it's framed um yeah it's freaking hideous would you have paid six dollars for it that's Pro what the, yes yes that's i would have says i would have paid six dollars for it but they didn't pay six dollars for it uh, at the Goodwill and it ended up in the bins and they paid, they charged me $2. So nice. I don't know what I'm going to list it at. I may even actually throw it up on one of the websites that I'm in, one of the groups, vintage kitschy something. Good call. All right. I can do these as a twofer. So again, you know, I bought 53 things from, uh, from Robin and Joe, a, a lot of stuff that's current that, you know, uh, is not going to make me a lot of money. Um, uh, but these two pieces right here are probably the most interesting. The only issue is there's sometimes there's literally no way that you can comp something. You are never going to find it. Um, you're never going to find anything like it. It's so true. you can't possibly predict how much it, it could be worth. For all you know, somebody out there would pay a couple thousand dollars for it. Or maybe if you're lucky, you'll get 40 bucks for it. Um, so this is one of them. This, this one was pretty stained and I was not able to get all the stains out, but I was able to lighten up more than enough. Uh, this is on the soft tee tag. This tee, this tag you see mostly like early 90s, sometimes late 80s, but it's more of like a 1990, um, kind of 91 around their tag. Uh, like I said, it's got... Oh, it's got some yellow. It's got, yeah, I, that's what I said. It's got, but it was 
when I started with it, they, they were really dark stains and they looked real, real bad. Um, but this is all about the graphic on it, the content on it. Um, you can see it says bizarre. It says Mistress Christina, your online dominatrix cyber sex kitten of love. Um, Who's probably 60 years old now. <laughs> If that was an actual person. But, so here's the problem. I tried doing some Googling. Um, that and, didn't go well. <laughs> and it was pretty much, and a lot of times like I'll Google and then I put, click on images and it was all, pretty much all the images were blanked out because they were porn sites. Um, and there is like a website called Bizarre. Uh, so my, I think it's probably from this like porn website. Um, I was not going to go any further into trying to figure no, it out. It was, no, you weren't going to dive in. Well, I was hoping that like there would be something. I mean, this you is obviously find, you from find like. what her real name was. You well, could no, do some investigation. Well, no, I, I just figured it would have been somebody that was like on a magazine or something back in the late 80s, early 90s. And you would hope there'd be something, some kind of whatever. So I literally. You do know that we have a dear friend that was one of the first webcam girls. And she's. A I don't she's, think. She's technically a nobody. You but know, I. So. Okay, but this anybody is anybody could do it back then. But what I'm saying is, okay, you're not listening, GD Dang Nabbit. What I'm saying is, this is a freaking magazine. This was a real. This is a company, so it's not just some random person that was a webcam girl. Um, although our friend was very, very well known within that community a long, long time ago. Anyway, so this one, I, I don't know. I put it up for. I think I put it up for three hundred. Because I, I have no idea. And I feel it's one of those things where is if there is somebody out there who knows what it is or has an interest in it, they might be likely to spend a lot of money on it. Now, it's probably not going to happen, but I'm going to give it a few weeks or a month or whatever and then start just sending like super aggressive low offers. Um, but it's always worth a try because I, who knows? Who knows? And then the other one that goes with it, now this one's interesting because the shirt itself is not the what is, makes it the most interesting, but, but even that by itself, it's awesome, and I would have been really excited to snag it for two bucks. Which when I got it, I, I had no idea. It's the thing is, it's actually signed, but neither one of us knew what we're like. I don't know what that is, but the shirt's so awesome. I was like, whatever, I'll pay two bucks for it. Anyway, it says, "Hey Fred, check out those boobs," and you've got the dog. This is a bad dog tank top, and you got the dog with the uh, quadruple bikini top. So it's pretty silly, pretty funny, pretty naughty. Um, it's on the Juanita tag. Juanita tag? Juanita tag. Juanita? Juanita? That's her name? Juanita? Juanita tag. It is dead stock, um, but it's signed. And you can see right here, it's, it's dated 9-22-91. And it says, to Fred, thank you for your support, Kathy Willits. So I looked up who Kathy Willits was. And she, I mean, I think she's still alive, I'm sure. But she was an adult movie actress. That's what I was going to uh, guess. But it was also this big scandal because back in the early 90s, uh, from what I, the very little I read about it, her husband, who I think was like an ex-cop, was basically her pimp. And um, she was uh, basically a, a sex worker um, and making money exploiting her sexuality whatever i don't know what you want to call it but i'm i don't know if there was more to it because i'm kind of like who cares people can sell themselves if they want to like why does it really matter but it was very scandalous she went to prison for a, a small oh amount goodness. of time and uh apparently fred supported her in some way shape, see it's funny because on the back it says hey fred i know but also her husband's name was Fred. So I'm like, what Fred are we talking about here? There could be multiple Freds. Yeah. But anyway, I listed this for like 200. Again, no idea if there's anybody out there who remembers who Kathy right. Willis is. There is there a market for who it? Who wants to know. buy it? No idea. It's just a weird, interesting, bizarre little piece of history. So. All right. It is what it is. And but on that note, hey Fred, check out these boobs. We're, we're, <laughs> we're done with this, this haul. Yeah. Hey Fred, check out these boobs. That's not a good look. Check out these boobs. No, stop. How about check out Just these? <laughs> All right, bye.